Three, two, one. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? <laughs> What it is, what it do, it's your man, man, build a girl, man, I'm back in with another damn video, man, yes, man, uh, not a reaction video, but a, not even a vlog, it's just like a, I guess, a how we first met, um, this beautiful lady right here, you know, um, how you, you, you want me to start it, or? Yeah, you can start it, you know, show channel. With, without, no, no, you know, lady first, but what I want you to do is, like, really introduce yourself i mean like oh, they, they know you they know but, me okay but you know they you really didn't get like a oh i didn't um hi guys my name is tia i am will's beautiful girlfriend always we've been dating since november but we have known each other since freshman year high school so it's been like over eight eight to nine years freshman year bowl uh, freshman year bowl um yeah, I just, you know, I really love him. I support everything that he does, and I'm so proud of him. Mm. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of my big papa. <laughs> but yes, I am the girlfriend. Yes, I am. So um, thank you guys for supporting him, for getting him to where he is now. Couldn't have done it without you. And yeah, I'm just so happy. I'm just so very, very proud of him. I'm proud of you, too. Thank you, yes. baby. Thank you. Give me time, boo. And I'm a fat ass, so I have my... It like a, it, it like basically like a, a mukbang, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A, a long horn steakhouse mukbang. Y'all had some shrimp from there yesterday. Slash how we met video. It's it's a lot, but I mean, yeah. you know, as long as you're comfortable, I don't. Oh baby, I'm comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I'm you comfortable? I'm good. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I got my beautiful wife next to me, so I'm chilling. Um, so how how you wanna do this? You wanna uh, do it first? I feel like you should do your side first. And okay. I'm gonna do my side too. So to be honest, like how we met, I can't even remember specifically like how the conversation started. I just know one day he just randomly started talking to me. And this was in 2010, so that's why it's so hard for me to remember exactly how everything went. But Will has always been the type of person that he gonna always speak to you. You know, he's very bubbly. He's always so happy, and he's very outgoing. So. I'm pretty sure down the line, he probably just came to me like, Tia, what's good, bro? And I probably did not know this man, but we just always been cool because of that. We never had any classes together, but we always, you know, he always just, you know, made sure to speak to me and stuff. And then once we graduated, we both was at this um, college, um, UWM University of Milwaukee. And um, we just like, we started talking again and I did not know that this man liked me. I did not know that like he was like Tia I was like this is freshman year I did not know he never said anything if he would have said something I had to go through heartbreaks and stuff could have been you know loved down by this beautiful man but anyways <laughs> yeah like he never said anything Will is also very shy he's outgoing but Will can be very shy I think Will is still shy to be around me sometimes and if he is that's so adorable <laughs> I'd be nervous, especially when, oh, I, baby. when I got here. I was nervous, but like, I'm like, dude, this is my girlfriend. Why am I nervous still? Oh, yeah. myself, but, yeah, I mean, but I, I, feel, I feel the same way about you. I get nervous around you, too. Mm, look at you. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, um, and I used to work at Foot Locker, and he would always come to my job. Wouldn't buy nothing, but would always come to my job. <laughs> and one day he was like, you know, T, we should just hang out. We all went to the movies to see. That, um, the Revenant? Yeah, it was something like that. Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm -hmm. It was like two hours and 30 minutes. I was knocked out. I was laying on that man's chest. <laughs> knocked out. I was like, ooh, he was a good cousin partner. This might be it. You know what I'm saying? And so, we fell off. You know, we, we went through some things, but... We fell off or you pushed me off? I did. Because, <laughs> like, I know, I know a lot of women can understand, you know, when you done been through so much with men breaking your heart, you push people away from you. you you scared to love again and he never gave up on me and I tried to push this man away for years I'd be like no I'm not ready I don't want to date no more this and that blah blah he'd be like oh, okay I'll still be here I'm waiting and then he finally got me so that's your side <laughs> look that's my side that's your side we'll probably got the whole more tea so well, I got a good memory um I don't brag about that shit, but like when it's something important, you know, I, I definitely can remember 
Um, Vontae actually was talking to you um, outside on the third floor by Mr. Divorce Squad. And not to cut you off, he has way better memory than I do. <laughs> I have horrible fucking memory. So, okay, continue. I'm sorry, so, babe. y'all, I guess, it, did y'all have Mr. Divorce Class? So we had first hour together. So African American literature. So it was somewhere on the first floor. I guess it was like homeroom at first, and it was somewhere on the third floor. I know because I remember them uh, damn brown beige ass lockers. Yeah. And um, I seen Vante talking to you and all of that stuff. I guess y'all was cool or whatever. And I was like, Vante, who's that, bro? Oh, that's QT, bro. <laughs> so. Um, I was like, dog, like, shit, introduce me or whatever, blah, blah, blah. He was like, no, nah, bro, you gotta do that shit yourself. So one day I just, uh, I just said, fuck it, broke that fear, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I ain't really talk to girls like that anyway in high school. Um, sorry. Um, so he was talking to you and all this other stuff, and I was like, Monte, bro, what's good, bro? And then I was like, oh, this is your bro? To your team, what's hey, bro? You know what I'm saying? So that's how. And that's how like my version of me introducing myself or me actually talking to this girl. Cause like I said, or like she said, I was shy. I am a little bit shy still, but like I broke like that fear doing this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause being in front of a camera, that, that shit is crazy. Mm -hmm. And like, you get so much criticism and so mm -hmm. much down talk and so and much- people, <laughs> And so much negativity or whatever, but like, it's people out here that really support me and also you at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Especially this relationship that we have and I'm loving it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I will continue to love this relationship. I will always continue to love her. Cause like she said, we've been knowing each other for a while, but like we finally got to this point of like, okay. Yeah, we've, we've been best friends for years. Mm -hmm. On and off, um, I always used to, talk shit about her because she always used to push me away because I've really been trying to like treat her how she want to be treated you know treat her with the utmost respect and actually treat her like a queen that she is you know what I'm saying I'm not saying that just cuz but I'm like really keeping it 100 keeping it honest like that's all I really want to do with her that's all I like you know treat her with so much respect love care you know what I'm saying support whatever you do and all this other stuff so I never stopped loving her, you know, like, I always had a crush on her since high school, freshman year. It's been crazy, you know what I'm saying, so. Yeah, I was really feeling her and all this other shit, man. But, um, to continue on, that was like a little side, no sidebar type of shit, so. Yeah, she was like, um, we, we was talking, you know, back and forth and all this other shit, but like, we wasn't really like, like all like serious type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like we flirt here and there and all this other stuff. Um, you know, she had a boyfriend, I had a girlfriend and all this other stuff. Like we we did, you know, fuck with each other and all that shit. But like, we like, kept it at a respectful yeah, level because we ain't like that. Nah, yeah, we ain't no cheating shit or whatever. So, um, I always stay my distance. I always respect her relationship, respect what she did. She did the same thing for me. Even though she was just like, mm, fuck that nigga, mm, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so oh, he got a girlfriend. Like, would you want me to just sit there no. and not try to experience anything, like just to see, like, oh, is she truly the one? Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to get up. <laughs> you did already. It's all good. It's, ex now. it's experimenting. You know what I'm saying? So. No. I mean, that come with life. We 22, 23. Yeah. I'm older than him. 23, 22. And like, you gotta go through that. Of you young. We young as hell. Yeah. You yeah. can't have everything to be, oh, I'm gonna have my love life together. No, it's not gonna happen like that. Like, I always use my mom as an example. You know, my mom, she found her true love just a couple of, like, a couple of years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, it happens. You can't rush things. But I truly feel like two people in your 20s even though those are your selfish years, you have to be selfish. At the same time, you know, if you find love, you find love. If you don't, you don't. But you have to experiment with different things. Yeah, because people marry at an early age. They do. And they stay married and, like, yeah. you know, work every problem out because 
you be you be so young, like you don't want that shit to, like, you know, I wasted my life doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's how people are. Some people are, but um to continue on where I stopped at, um yeah, so four years, you know, since high school, we graduated, went to UW. Um, you know, she was she had a couple people I seen. I only seen you though, like I ain't know none of the other niggas, but then that's when I uh, met Donnie and all of them. So, <laughs> so I only seen you, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, T-T, bro. T-T! I'm like, oh, hey, well, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I think that's when I had got your number. Yeah, then you saw, I wish you got to the movies. Y'all, Will has always been just so damn handsome to me. And I just, every time I would see him, and it's crazy because everybody that know me know I'm blunt and I am bold as hell. If you can make me nervous, it's not about you. And it's like, every time I'm getting around Will, he wouldn't even like disrespect me or he would just always be so nice. Like, oh, hey, Tia. He wouldn't even like give me compliments. Like, oh, because you know, sometimes when you get a compliment from a handsome man, you be like, oh, I'm nervous. This man would just like, hey, Tia. And I'd be like, ooh, I got butterflies. Like, what's going on? <laughs> and... From day one, it was just always something about him. And, you know, through through these past, like, couple of years, I've been through a lot. You know, I lost a lot of friends, you know, to death and everything. And he was just always there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could text him and be like, hey, I'm just having a phase. You know, I'm feeling a little sad. This man will text me 10 minutes later and be like, I'm outside. Come on, get in the car. <laughs> you finna get out the house. I'm not finna allow you to just be sitting up in that room sad. Come on, get out the house. And I will forever appreciate that about him. You know, he just always been there. And like I said, he's just so damn handsome. <laughs> it's this beard, like he just, uh, I'm just, I'm so in love with this man. It's ridiculous, but this is really, he saved me for real. And I was really going through things, you know, I battled with depression and, you know, suicidal thoughts and su attempting suicide. And he really saved me. And I wouldn't even say save me because at the same time he led me to the direction to fix myself. You know what I'm saying? He taught me not to depend on others for my happiness. You know, even though it's okay to, you know, make, for somebody else to make you happy. He always taught me that you know, I need to make myself happy first because at times, you know, people are not going to be there for you. That's natural and that's life. But he always taught me that, you know, you got you to gotta learn to pull yourself together first and then depend on other people. You know, and I just... I appreciate him so much. He's just amazing. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. So after that, you good? I was You amazing. So um, but yeah, yeah. So we, like I said, and like she said, we were on and off for a couple times and. Shit, man, we finally seen that sign of like, man, like we should really get together and stay together and work on whatever we need to work on. And I mean, the long distance is you know, so hard. It's tough, but I mean, we make our times to come see each other or whatever. But I know I'm moving down here soon, so she'll have some ideas. Of, of course, so. It's taking time and money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it took a couple months for me to, you know, stack up my cash because, you know, with all the bills and all of that stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? I went, I went a couple of days, you know, she, she went, you know, a sleep, nigga. So, but uh, real shit though, like, um, I truly do love this woman. I am in love with this woman. Um, she treats me with the utmost respect. She supports me throughout this dream. <laughs> She supports me throughout this dream that uh, uh, is YouTube, and she gives me life. She has so much energy in herself. She is over dramatic. Oh, I passed out. My bad. She poop. is over dramatic. My bad. But I mean, I deal with it. You know what I'm saying? With the energy that she has now. Look at this. <laughs> she don't have no rhythm. I don't, y'all. Oh my god. He was trying to see you how to do. Wait. Get them folks. <laughs> But, I mean, we here with it, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you find that true person, you know, that true love, don't give up. This man, <laughs> and, and it, it wasn't even just him, you know what I'm saying? Because 
even though he had been liking me for over eight years i had been liking him too and it was like we was just at two different places when he was ready to be committed I wasn't ready because I was scared. But then when I was ready, he was like, nah, gee, I ain't, re I ain't, I ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, well, shit, this is going to take some damn time. But <laughs> I knew, like, because I live in Arizona, and that's why I said, you know, long-distance relationship is very, is very hard. It's difficult. He lives in Milwaukee. I live in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And so my last day being in Milwaukee, I cried so bad. And I'm, I don't like crying. You know what I'm saying? I'm very strong and you know, I always be there to uplift people. So I don't like I don't like no amount of weakness in my body. I don't. I don't like to feel weak at all. And so, um, not saying that crying makes you feel weak, but No, I understand. Just, they, they understand. I just don't like I just don't like crying. I hate crying. And so I was just crying in the whole time. I'm thinking like I'm crying because, you know, I'm scared to start something new. You know, I'm going to a completely different state, don't know nobody, this and that, blah blah. But Will was on my mind the whole time. I was just like, you know, what if he, you know, don't talk to me no more? What if he doesn't love me anymore? This and that, blah, blah, blah. And my friends were just like, is you in love with him? And I was like, damn, I think I might be. Like, what the hell is going on? And, <laughs> you know, I have changed completely. I was never like this. Like, anybody that know me, you know, the, 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 the things I have been through in past relationships, I would be like, no, nah, fuck, fuck love. No, ain't no damn love. No, 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 fuck all that. But, like, it was like with him... And I had I had long talks with God in the universe. Like, what am I supposed to do? And they was just like, mm, you need to not pass up on this blessing. And it's like, ever since I started dating him, so much good stuff has happened in my life. I'm way calm. And he teaches me peace. He teaches me how to just, you know, just be like, it's okay, babe. You ain't got to trip on that. Because your partner can teach you a lot. You know what I'm saying? I was so used to dealing with men. And, you know, just dealing with men who made me so angry. And I feel like that was my way of communicating. Will do not play that shit. When I be mad, he's like, oh, okay, you can talk about it when you're ready. I be like, <laughs> you gonna give me my space? Like, you don't give me your space. Like, the other day, y'all, my hair did not come out right. And you know I'm natural. You see this shit. <laughs> you know we be mad as hell if them curls do not come out right. I was pissed yesterday. I'm like, oh, God, I don't like my hair. He's like, okay, baby. I'm gonna give you your space. Okay, kiss from my forehead, went in the shower, and I was just like, you know what? I could work with this. He's like, baby, I think you look good. I'm like, I could work with this. I could. You look good, baby. I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> and then I like my hair. Like, it's just, it's so amazing when you got somebody to teach you peace and just, oh, like, it's okay. It's just like, it's such an amazing feeling. I feel like you, um, you've been wanting to talk about this for a while. I have. You said I got so much yeah. to say. Like, let me tell y'all, sister, something. Don't give up on the black man. Look. Okay? And you black men, don't try to give up on a black woman. You feel me? Oh, fine, little chocolate stuff. You ain't even chocolate, but you like a little milk chocolate. You know what I'm saying? This beer. Just, mm. I just be like, oh, baby, take me. Take me. Oh, one more thing. She yes, is girl. clumsy. Clumsy? Y'all see, y'all didn't miss that. I almost filled the fucking the glass over. <laughs> but, I mean... I love it though, you know what I'm saying? We we both And I love to drink. Yeah, but Don't don't be commenting like, oh she's an alcoholic. Shut up. I am twenty three and I'ma drink my ass off, okay? Enjoy it. Moscato to me. You sisters get that barefoot. She don't she she don't drink heavy. She drink wine, that's it. Like on some real shit. Like she don't drink heavy at all, so I don't mind it. As long as she ain't forcing it like drinking every fucking day. As long as she, you know, every, like, if she got a day off or whatever, enjoy it. Shit. I'm not going to, nah, I'm not going to, like, I don't like that shit. You know what I'm but saying? always remember, real last bitch don't give a fuck about it. No, I'm just kidding. I can't be saying that. Huh. I'm in love with my man. I'm, I'm in love with him. And I'm in love with this beautiful woman right here as well. My wife. My girlfriend. One of my biggest supporters. Our skin is glowing. Well, we got that black. <laughs> that, that black people magic. Oh, I was going to say black girl magic, but you know. That comes with me automatically, but... Period. But, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Or, not conclude it, but end it. Does it conclude me, end I'm tripping. Do, do you know? No? <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off, Better man. Better the same people. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this little introduction video of my beautiful wife right here. I know I've been looking pop on these damn videos. You really haven't. You really haven't. She, she be tripping. She be... She thinks she look hot.
popped on every video that we've been uh, Let's we've been get to the definition of these curls. Hold on, y'all see these curls? Y'all see this definition? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> like I said, if you guys like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow my girlfriend. I'm going to put her Instagram down below. Uh, we need to start her YouTube channel. Bow, bow, bow. I'm hungry again. <laughs> you are. Yes. <laughs> you want to go get something? I don't know if we're going to open on anything, but. I don't know. But let me go ahead and end this video. Um, <laughs> Like I said, we gonna have we gonna start our YouTube channel and all this other shit before I leave. Um, shit, we damn near could start one today or what? We damn near could start one today. You can make your introduction video. Oh, um, you know what I'm saying? But okay, look, um, man, thank you guys for 5K. I still need to do a 5K special. Um, go ahead, follow her on our Instagram, man. You know what I'm saying? She popping on there, dog. Follow me on all my shit, man. Snapchat, Instagram, all that shit down below. Show me she made man build a goal and it's your girl Tia to go, you know what I'm saying? We we just ended another goddamn video, you know what I mean? So <laughs> <laughs> we all man, peace. Gang. Can I do it? Go ahead. Just hold it for a little bit. <laughs> okay, there we go.